Ich verkünde die Spiele von Berlin zur Feier der ersten Olympiade neuer Zeitrechnung als eröffnet. The 36 Olympics occurred during the rise of the Third Reich and were awash in Nazi propaganda as Hitler used the Olympic stage to promote his ideologies. There was talk of boycott, but the Berlin Games would be the largest to date, attracting 49 nations and nearly 4,000 athletes. Among them, of course, the sensational 800-meter gold medalist John Woodruff, an African-American runner who posed a challenge to Hitler's invented theory of Aryan supremacy. It's interesting, very interesting for me, because that's the first time I'd ever had a, been on a, a luxury ladder, see? And uh, many of the athletes got sick. Got sick. I, some of the athletes, I didn't see them until we landed in Hamburg, Germany. <laughs> they had to stay in their stateroom because they got sick. But I was a pretty good sailor. I didn't get sick. And I was able, I was able to work out. When, when those guys couldn't, those athletes couldn't work out because have you ever been seasick? Barely a few months earlier, John Woodruff wasn't interested in the Olympics either. But at his first international meet, the 21-year-old quickly announced himself, posting the fastest time of the qualifying rounds. Anything that John goes into, he's highly, highly determined and dedicated. Had it not been for the Second World War, John Woodruff would have been the greatest half-miler of all time. In the final, Woodruff found himself boxed in. His response was to slow, almost to a jog, awaiting a route to the outside, where his loping nine-foot strides could unfurl unimpeded. time in 24 years, a United States runner has won the 800-meter Olympic gold medal. As a child in a small Pennsylvania town, John Woodruff never dreamt even of going to college. And when he did, it was with just 25 cents in his pocket. Yet here he was, one of five black Americans to win Olympic gold in Berlin. I realized that was a great achievement not only for America as a whole, it was a great achievement for, the, for the, the Negroes who participated in the games, you see. Because Hitler tried to play us, play us down, so to speak. He was advocating that master race theory. And of course, we destroyed the, the theory by being black and, and winning all those medals that we won at that particular time. Mayor LaGuardia gave a big parade for us in New York. Big ticker tape parades. Yeah. It was very nice. When I came back from the Olympics, the school had a meet at Annapolis. It was a triangular meet. Pitt was invited to go to that meet. But the Naval Academy said that they could not bring me. They weren't going to run against me or have me run in that meet. And it was a lot of discrimination. A lot of discrimination. That, take, that was taking place at that time that affected the black athletes. You see what they did to me on Dallas, on that Dallas race, when they set a new world record of 147.8. It came out in the California papers that the race that Woodruff had set in Dallas would not be accepted as a world record because they found the track to be six feet short. I won the NCAA in the half a mile, three years of succession, 37, 38, 39. I won the IC4A, the quarter and the half, three years of succession, 37, 38, 39. I won the national AAU meet, um, and I won the Pan American game to beat the, the race that they took away from me. Every race that I competed in, in America, after I came back, I won. Never defeated. The guys that were on the team with me, many of them, they passed on. They're gone. And of course, I'm the only one left. Only one left. 
we were like a, a group working to prove ourselves as Negroes at that time, that we can compete against anyone. For some reason, when you sit there, anybody that knows Mr. Woodruff, he can take the most negative story, the worst story you've ever heard, and you're like, how did you take that? How did you put up with it? And make it sound good. Hello, folks back there in America. This is John Woodruff speaking. I want to say a few words about my race here this afternoon. I fought hard and won it for you all. I thank you. John Woodruff, the winner of the 800 meter gold medal at the 1936 Berlin Olympic Games. I've, I've been blessed. I've been blessed. Each gold medalist at the 1936 Olympics was given a sapling from the German Black Forest. Woodruff planted his where he began his own growth from child to champion. 65 years later, the oak stands tall, just off the far lane of the Connellsville High School track.